So what I've done along the, uh, the tomato plants is I have cocoa fiber uh, matting and then uh, I've got the regular cocoa fiber uh, in between the rows and so that way when it rains uh, the spores aren't going to be splashing up on the uh, tomato leaves and uh, it's been working. So far I should have had blight if I was going to get it. And on that one I just used uh, the ground up uh, cocoa fiber uh, since that's a newer bed. Uh, this one I don't want to uh, I'm trying it different ways. This way I can roll it up as the plants get bigger and um, you know as if I leave it uh, uh, granulated mulched up like that I'm gonna have to turn it into the soil and I only want to get so much of that uh, fiber into the soil so um, that's why I was trying the matting see how that worked but so far so good um, these a couple of tomatoes got hit with some frost uh, last week and uh, it, it looks like they're gonna come back okay um, and I gotta tell you the birds are just uh, nesting and I said I wasn't gonna let them nest around the garden again this year but they're at it so cucumbers are in and uh, you know I haven't had too much luck with cucumbers the last last year but uh, the years prior to that they were always uh, fantastic so Anyway, that's what the garden plot's looking like. Uh, I got some, just a couple of zucchini over here. But um, I'm going to be stringing up tomatoes anyway. I've got the, the cable over here, so I'm going to string them again this year. They're all uh, indeterminate types, so I've got to add some uh, wire to that bend also. See ya!